So today for the first time I tried out bird photography and even though I have a 500mm telephoto lens it's definitely not enough to capture those teeny tiny birds at a distance. But I did manage to capture some interesting photographs and I want to share them with you just because I have no better topic for today's video. So let's go! So I took 133 images and not all of them are just of birds, but I managed to take some really interesting photographs of a single bird at close up, about 3 or 4 meters away with a 500 millimeter focal length. So first let me glance through all of the shots that I took and talk you a little bit through how, how actually difficult this is. Now photographing ducks is kind of simple because ducks are really not shy animals and they just swim there and if you're not really close they will let you photograph them. So I managed to take some of these photographs which came out nice and then I was photographing this grey crow and this was from really far away shot at 500 millimeters. I think most of the photographs today are going to be 500 and well I think it's a nice shot. I would prefer however this to be a little bit more um, well filling up the frame. <laughs> this is really far away. So not a really you know good wildlife photograph and here are some more which are completely out of focus and just I, and then some birds on on branches and a tree which i found interesting has nothing to do with wildlife photography and then some more birds and well basically that's what i was trying to photograph and of course you now spring is coming so we have the nice spring flowers the bell flowers coming out which is really interesting. Some out of focus shots, some motion blur shots and well let me show you the ones that I picked because otherwise this is going to be a really long video. So I picked out 14 photographs and three of them were actually from Alex as he was walking in this lovely um, tree line thing which is located in our local arboretum where they have all of these flowers and trees and it's ideal for any sort of wildlife photography if you're into photographing birds. So let's start first with these ducklings over here. So the female duck and the male duck that's as much as I know from from ducks and I think this was a, a really cool image because the male is is out of focus over here and the female is completely in focus. And then this golden bird. Now I don't know any of the birds names because I'm not a bird wildlife photographer but it was so interesting to capture them in action and try to find them in the in the branches on top of trees and I have to say I mean this is this is quite a task. <laughs> now you have to be very quiet and very so that the birds get acclimatized to you and then you can photograph them. If you're just moving around you will never take any photographs of birds because they will be constantly flying away. This one looks like a canary. It's probably not a canary but it's you know uh, well it looks like a canary. I mean I don't know how a canary looks but I found this to be an interesting framing because the bird is yellow and everything around it was yellow so kind of a monochrome type very contrasty image. And then the bellflowers of course I have to photograph bellflowers because it's springtime coming soon. It's too early for these flowers to be honest because it's, it's February so this should not be growing. Talking about climate change <laughs> anyway and then I found a spot where all of the birds were converging because somebody put bird seeds on this rock with, with this green moss so birds were just flying in and picking at these seeds and it was really easy to photograph and I was standing like three maybe four meters away with 500 millimeters so it was I, I could get really close up shots so this one is interesting. And the camera nailed the focus and the, the overall quality of the image I think is, is very nice. And the bird is filling up a substantial amount of the frame which is really cool. And I was using the rule of thirds. Again have no idea what this bird is called and it's it's in focus but as you can see my shutter speed was one two hundredths of a second and I was using a tripod but the motion blur isn't caused because of me moving the camera because you can see here that everything else that wasn't moving is well it's sharp but the bird is just constantly jittering left and right so it's really hard to capture it with just two, one two hundredths of a second which is rule number one so if you want to do any sort of wildlife photography have at least one five hundredths of a second shutter speed uh, otherwise image will be blurry because of motion blur. Here another one that like almost tag sharp but just just teeny tiny motion and again one two hundredths of a second. I do love the framing and how the bird is looking at this I don't know what this is a leaf growing off this mossy rock. I think it was just these two birds that were flying in and, and having all the fun so and of course I took photographs of Alex as he was walking and trying to find birds for me to photograph which was really interesting. So doing wildlife photography seems to be very simple, very straightforward. You just find a spot and wait it out and then as the animals are coming closer you photograph them. However I think the main issue is being at the right spot at the right time when all the birds or any other wildlife 
animals will be there. And second, well, you have to be really patient because sometimes it takes, well, hours for any birds to fly in. So, I mean, I took all of these photographs in about two hours, I think, all together. And if I was a proper wildlife photographer, there would probably be a lot more photographs than what I got and probably also a lot better photographs. But, you know, this was my first attempt at this. I'm not going to become a wildlife photographer. It's just that since I have the lens that can do this to a certain degree, I might as well try it. And I'm always open to try something new. And I do encourage you to try it as well if you've never photographed birds or any other animals. So let me know what you think down in the comments. Have you ever tried this? Is there a specific technique that I should try and maybe perfect and then make a video on this topic? Please let me know down below. Also consider subscribing if you're new to the channel and hit the like button for the algorithm. This way YouTube knows that you've kind of liked the video and it will promote it a little bit more. Thanks for watching and if you want to stay on the channel you can click on this video right over here. I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.